All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, don't look at my hideous, unorganized desktop. <laughs> there was a time not too long ago when I prouded my, uh, myself on only having the recycle bin in one folder on my desktop, but I haven't cleaned it in a while, so don't uh, look away. Don't, don't look over there. There's nothing for you there. There we go. <laughs> So today we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade our project to 2019.1, something that's been coming for a while. Uh, as of recording this, I think the newest version of 2019.1 is 2019.1.9, but there might be a newer version already. 2019.2 looks like it's still a little bit off in the future, um, so I'm going to just do 2019.1 and then I'll make sure that I do any upgrades to more recent versions of Unity faster. So. Um, first thing you need to do is, of course, install a new version of Unity. Unity now makes you use the Unity Hub, so to install a new version, go to Installs, and you want to click Add, and it'll look for the newest version. And look at that. There's a newer version here, 2019.1.11. I'm not going to install it right now, because it takes forever. Um, when you have that done, any of your projects will tell you which version of Unity you were using last with it. I think I even have some down here. Okay. Um, that was my test that I did before I recorded this. Don't look at that. Um, so to change your Unity version, you can just go over here and choose the drop down. And I'm going to go Unity 2019.1.9. And then open the project and confirm. This next part's going to take a while. It needs to convert things to the newer version. So I'll fast forward through this and I'll meet you back here in a moment. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're loaded in, and what you'll notice right away is you can't play. And that's because there are some errors that come from upgrading 2019.1 from TextMesh Pro. If you go to your console, you can see that there's, I don't know, 68 errors about TextMesh Pro. And here's how we're going to go about fixing that. First thing we need to do is we need to go to Edit, Project Settings, and then we need to go to the player settings in there. So players over here in the left. Inside here, we want to go to other settings. So open that up, scroll down. We need to change the configuration, the runtime version to .NET 4.x. This is going to need to restart Unity for that. So another wait. OK, so here we are back in our project now. And I'll let that compile really quickly. If I hit play, I no longer have those super duper errors and oh hey look at that cool so right away what else needs to be fixed here ah there are two audio listeners in the scene please ensure there's only one the two audio listeners comes from the minimap camera so i'm going to open up the player in its prefab to make sure i'm changing the prefab and not just the player itself and on the minimap camera I'm going to turn off the audio listener. Let's go back. All right, let's see what else we need to fix. OK, so this is one thing that I could totally use help with. If anybody could tell me why these errors are showing up, that'd be great. I've gone through everything I can think of to fix it, and I haven't been able to. All right, so let's do, do, do. let's fix something else as far as the cameras go. So Cinemachine, about one in three times when I've upgraded 2019.1 from the 2018.3 version, has had an issue with, oh, look at that, it didn't this time. Cinemachine has before had an issue with the camera size, uh, the camera not knowing how to resize itself when you go to this new project, but it's doing that just fine. If that's the case, uh, all you have to do is go through and make sure that your virtual cameras know what their confiner is. And then also, sometimes when you update to, aha, see this one's doing it. When you update to 2019.1, uh, the virtual camera will think it's a 3D camera until you actually turn it on and then make sure that the orthographic size is set to what you want it to be. And then when you turn it back off, it'll go back to what it should be. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly here for my virtual cameras, make sure they all know that their orthographic size is six so that they all know that they're 2D. And you can do that just by activating them and then deactivating them. Well, activating them, making sure their orthographic size is correct, and then deactivating them. So let's see, room four. 
Room six. There we go. Room seven. Do do. Um, I think I got them all, but I might have missed some. Okay, so that was fixing the submission cameras, or at least making sure that they're there. Now the next thing that we're going to do, and this is going to take probably a couple of videos to do, is we need to go through and make sure that all of our pieces work with the refactor. Uh, I'd like to clean up my map a little bit. I'm sure that your maps all look way better than mine. Mine isn't very creative. Uh, and then make sure all of our enemies work like they should with the refactor and the upgrade. And then once the power-ups, the enemies, and the room all work like we want them to, then we can go forward with an ability system. The first ability we're going to do is a dash. Um, and then after the dash, we'll do the arrow ability refactored as an actual ability and not just something that's hard-coded. And then we'll do a hook shot and a couple other things. If you guys have any ideas about abilities, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will take those into account. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit the like button. YouTube will suggest more videos like this if you do. Uh, you can subscribe and hit the bell and all that stuff. Um, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. Join my Discord. Tons of really cool people there who know honestly more than I do <laughs> who are willing to help out. They're, they're really great people in my Discord. Um, yeah, otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful day.